I was working as part of a project launched by the European Space Agency on uh, remote sensing in Greenland and I was working with estimating surface elevation changes and I also built an elevation model. And this was done from combined airborne and spaceborne laser and radar data. This whole project focused on assessing both this but also ice velocities of the ice sheet as well as grounding line locations and calving front positions of some of the outlet glaciers so we could really accurately uh, monitor how the glaciers were changing and how the surface was changing accordingly. Such an elevation model can be used for correcting for slope-induced errors in radar data. Because radar measurements are great in that they have this high, uh, high temporal resolution, but they suffer from slope-induced errors because they have a very high footprint. So if you're using these measurements to assess, for instance, the volume changes of the Greenland ice sheet, you can get, I have calculated, errors of up to more than 50%. Significant surface elevation changes are occurring. The glaciers are rapidly retreating. So we're not gonna get unemployed anytime soon. It's great. And a little bit intimidating as well, because there are substantial changes. Today, I work at the Danish Geodata Agency in an academic position where I'm still collaborating with partners at various academic institutions. And now I'm focusing on Denmark as well as Greenland and working with various satellite-based projects.